So here's what's included in the substrate support system box that sits on top of the actual box itself. There's the, the auto take-up reel, as well as the, the media roll uh, lifter, I guess you call it that, the, the new system that Epson has to lift the media into the printer rather than having to lift it up onto the, the spool every time. And here's what the, the main printer box looks like. Uh, there's a couple of support beams for the stand here on top. You see the actual printer takes up most of the space here. There is about an 8 to 12 inch gap between the side of the box and where the printer actually starts. Uh, there's a couple of empty boxes here on the side just for support. Um, you will notice at the bottom of the box, you know, kind of in the middle right there, there's two holes lift, meant for lifting the printer out of the, out of the box when you're ready to put it on the stand. So there's actually two metal poles that come with the printer to help lift the printer from the ground here onto the stand. And there are two spots where those poles go. And it's, as you see right through here, there's going to be this groove in the, in the foam. And there's a little hole right in there where the, the poles go through. This will allow you to, to take the printer, you can actually put the poles through and you can lift it up all at the same time rather than having to reach your arms around the, the printer. So there's one on this side here, and then there's one on the other side right down here. As you'll see here on the poles, there's a couple of black notches that are on here. These are designed to hold the printer in place so it's not sliding as you're trying to lift it up. So you actually have to slide this in, kind of facing up, and then rotate it so that it goes through. You want it so that the two notches are right in the middle of the printer. So you're going to stick it through to kind of where it catches, rotate it again, and right you want to rotate it so it's straight back up. That way when you lift it, both of the notches are going to be on the insides of the printer and it's not going to slide back and forth as you're lifting. So to assemble the stand, it's going to come as pretty much four pieces. There's, there's uh, two ends and then there's two middle bars. The smaller middle bar, as you see, it's going to attach to the back of the stand. The way you can tell that these are the back is the top of the letter, so the L. You should be reading it facing forward and so you'll see that this is the back of the stand here. This piece, there's four screws that you need to attach, two on each side, so you just attach it right on the back, you don't need to slide it in place, so it pr probably will take two people to hold it up. So there's two on this side, two on that side, and then there's a middle beam here. And as you see on the top right here, there's a track that it goes down. You want to slide that down with the, the metal poles facing down. You're going to see there's an R and L in there, there's going to be two silver metal poles that face down, it's going to slide right in. And then there's actually no screws that you'll need, uh, you'll need to have to attach in here. You're going to see there's holes that are in here. You just need to put your wrench in there and rotate it to tighten that up. You want to do this on each side. There's two on each side that you want to tighten. After you've done that, your stand's all set up, ready to have the printer set on top of it. So one important thing to note when you're putting the printer on the stand is that there's an L and an R. These are both as if you're looking at the front of the printer. So the left, this will be on the left side, so the front of the printer will be facing towards you here. There's also these little notches here that will line up underneath the printer. These will kind of hold the, the printer in place as well. This is the same sort of thing for the, the smaller Epson 7900 printers. has a kind of similar system, but make sure that this lines up and the printer should rest right in there. Man, dude, this thing is insanely hot. <laughs> so make sure you get enough people to lift the printer over. You have one person spot the stand underneath. You're going to see those, there's those notches right underneath that you kind of want to place the printer underneath on top of. Go ahead and set it down. Put it on that side. And go ahead and set it down on this side. And we are good. Yeah, so you just want to make sure that it lines up and you'll kind of hear a little noise once it sets right into the stand there. This just lines up. After the printer's on the stand, you're going to want to screw the, the stand to the printer so that way when you move it, it's not going to shift at all. And there's three total screws that are going to go underneath. On the right side, this is the right side underneath, on the outside of the printer, there's one screw that goes right down here. These are the longer screws that you're going to use. You're going to screw that in and use, a, use an Allen wrench to screw that in as well. And then on the left side, there's going to be two screws 
that's going to be on the inside part of the stand. So one on the right, two on the left. On the right side it's on the outside, on the left side it's going to be on the inside of the printer stand. The next part of the stand is actually a two-step process. This is going to be for assembling the parts that hold the waste tank in place. And the first piece you'll need is this one right here. There's two little latches that you'll need to undo first. These come closed when you get it out of the box. This piece is going to sit with this small part sitting flat up against the side here. Then you'll need one of these screws. I'm going to take this and screw it right in into the stand here so that way it holds in place. Next you want to take this black tube here. You're going to feed it in through this opening in the stand. So you want to feed that all the way through, make sure it's completely straight. And then you're going to feed this straight down through here. There's two, these two latches are going to hold this tube in place. And the most important part, you want to make sure that this bottom one feeds through here. And there's those two little black plastic pieces that this should sit right in between there so it holds that in place. And you can take this one and stick it in right there so that way it holds that in place. This is the first of two steps you'll need to uh, set up this piece. The next piece you'll need to install is the one that looks like this. You're also going to need three of these screws. Again, this is on the right side of the printer. You're going to take this, this top notch here is going to line up with that opening. It should sit in place. There's actually three screws that are going to go on this. this. There's this piece that slides right underneath here. You're going to slide that up. So that way it reveals two spots where you can screw this piece in. So you're going to slide that up. Go ahead and screw that in so this stays in place. And if you go back to the other side here, the lower part here, there should be a place where you can put a screw in. That's going to screw in right there. You'll want to tighten these up with the wrench, and we'll be all set to put the waste bottle right in here. The next part you'll want to do is uh, install the waste tank bottle. You'll want to take off the cap. You can set it back here for now. There's also a little piece in here that you'll need to take out. you want to take the bottle, line it up with the nozzle right there, and then this just rests in the place. There's no screws or anything that holds this into place. This just rests right here. So all the waste ink will dry, drain down into this bottle here. For the next pieces of the stand, uh, there's actually two pieces that go on the left side and two pieces that go on the right side. The two pieces on the left side are going to be identical and the two pieces on the right side are going to be identical. This is what the piece looks like on the left side here. And for the back part of it, you want to take these two little notches and just slide them right in here. And then you'll take these two screws and screw them in right here. For the front part of the stand, you want to take the same piece here. This just goes right on the bottom part. Again, this is the front of the stand here now on the left side. This is going to slide in right there. Again, do the same exact thing. Go ahead and screw these into the side of the stand. The next pieces will go on the right side of the stand. Again, these are both going to be identical as well. The piece looks like this. You're going to need a couple of screws for each as well. These are going to go face down. And it's going to line up with this, this notch right here. It's going to slide right here. This little piece right here is going to face the printer. You're going to screw these in. You're going to do this for the front part of the stand as well as the back part of the stand. Tighten these up again with a wrench and you'll be all set to go. So, for the media feed system, you want to take it now, once you have all your silver pieces on, and slide it right down. It's going to line up. It's going to slide down right here on top of these screws. You can then take screws and screw in into the four sides here on both sides. And then you also want to do the left side of the, the stand as well. Now for the right side of the stand, 
you're going to want to screw, put in the screws, but you don't want to tighten them all the way. You're going to have to adjust the media feed system here later on. We'll show you that later on in the video, but just note, screw them in, but don't put it completely tight with the wrench. On the left side of the printer, there's three screws that go in on the top here. There's one in front of the silver bars between the silver bar and the printer. And there's one between the two silver bars. And then there's one spot directly between these two silver bars. Again, on the left side, you're okay to screw these in as, as tight as possible. It's just that, that uh, right side where you have to leave it loose a little bit for the media adjustment. Next for the auto take up system, you want to do the same thing as you did in the back, just kind of slide it down and then there's some grooves that this slides right into. Then there's a couple of screws that screw in here on the sides just as you did before. When setting down the left side of the auto take up system, you want to make sure these two grooves line up right here, that way you're able to put the screw in to its proper spot. Now there's a couple of cables that you're going to need to route in the back of the, the printer. Uh, this first one's going to come from the auto take up reel. You're going to stick it between these two poles here. You're going to route it through this first white notch here, and then up these two back ones. This is going to plug in right on the back of the printer. There's also little screws on here to tighten it so it stays in place. And then the next one, you're going to take this cable here, route it through, so I'm going to route it right through here. Through these same two white cable holders. Down in through these two white cable holders. Yeah, we can kind of fix this up here in just a second, but then you're going to have to go to this part of the unit here. There's a little door underneath here you'll need to stick your hand right in. And there's a little notch that you want to take out. So this little door comes out. And as you can see here, there's a little place where you can route the cable through. And then this is just going to plug in right into this little slot right in here. 